Do you ever struggle with opening wide up to the universe to let all of the abundance shine into your life? Because that can affect financial flow, self-love, your relationships, opportunities, even your ability to receive pleasure in your life. And I know for myself, the journey of opening to receive has really been a deep one and it has been greatly informed which like many of us has been informed by our relationships from the past, the way our family patterns were culturally and also anything traumatic that may have happened that has left us with this residue that says, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I can't have it yet, it's really hard. And all of these limiting beliefs that stop us from receiving all that wants to come into our life. And one thing that I've learned as I've peeled back all of that conditioning from my own past, I realized that the universe and all of its people that represent the universe actually do want to give, do want to share. Therefore, it would actually be a crime to not receive because everything is seeking to give. Everything is seeking for communion. And I'm excited to dive into this tap with you today so that you can actually unwind any of those limiting beliefs or patterns from culture or your family line that actually say that you can't receive more fully, that you can't have more pleasure, that you can't tap into all of the abundance that wants to just stream into your life. Do you want to do this with me let's dive in starting up here let's tap and or massage underneath the collarbone and to start with in order to release the blocks we got to feel the blocks so tune into any part of your life that is not totally blessed up by abundance the part where you're struggling where you wish you would have more or the struggling part that says i can't really accept that yet and all of that contraction that's going on around actually just allowing it to come in so tune into that right now and I want you to feel whatever it is that's there, that's in your body, that's in your mind, that's in your emotion, that's, that is blocking you. Feel it right now, let yourself have all of that uncomfortability. And then just take a big deep breath, release a big sigh. <sighs> awesome, and then tap the center of the chest and I'm going to do a call and response. So you just repeat what I say, and if the word is different, change the word to match what you really think and feel. Okay. I have been struggling with receiving. Tapping between the brows. I've been struggling with receiving. Tapping the temples. And that has been blocking my pleasure. Isn't that true? When we block the receiving, when we struggle with receiving, automatically the pleasure is gone as well. Tapping the cheeks. I've been really struggling to receive my needs. Part of me thinks it's too hard. Part of me thinks I'm not worthy. Tapping underneath the lips. Part of me thinks I'm not good enough. Part of me thinks I have to struggle. What do you think about receiving? What is your block around actually allowing that full abundance of pleasure, of life force, of gifts, of opportunities, of joy to come flooding into your life? What is your limiting belief around it? I've been believing, just say what you've been believing, tapping the center of the chest. And when you believe that thought, what emotion do you feel? When I believe and just say what the thought is, That makes me feel what? What does it make you feel when you believe that thought? Tapping the front of the ribs. When I believe, just name what it is, around receiving or not receiving or not being allowed and all of that. 
tapping the side of the ribs, it makes me feel what? Does it make you feel closed off? Does it make you feel shut down, scared, limited, blocked, unworthy? What does it make you feel when you believe that? Tapping the side of the wrist, it makes me feel, and just say that again. And then I really shut down. Tapping the side of the thumb. And when you really shut down, how does that affect your life? How does that affect all the opportunities that want to come in? How does that affect all of the joy that wants to flood in? How does it affect the people in your life? How does it affect your relationship? What happens when you believe that thought, when you allow that emotion to hit, and then all of a sudden your life ripples out as a reflection of that? It makes my life look like, and just go on a little rant. I know that you know what it looks like, so just go on a rant and just say out loud what happens. Tapping the middle finger, keep going. Keep describing what happens. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. And all of that doesn't feel good. Tapping the little finger, all of that doesn't feel good. It feels uncomfortable. It makes me feel small. Tapping the side of the hand, it makes me feel, and just name the top three limiting emotions that it makes you feel. It makes me feel, tapping the top of the head. It makes me feel, say it again. It makes me feel, and name those top three emotions that it makes you feel when I don't receive. When I block myself. Tapping between the brows when I doubt my worth. Tapping the temples and I'm open to forgiving myself. and all the struggle I've had around receiving. Tapping the cheeks. And all the blame I've put on myself. And just tune into any blame or shame or embarrassment that you've put on yourself around not being able to receive and how that affects you and how you show up and how you try to hide it or conceal it or pretend that it's okay and all of the tendencies that come along with it and then tune into any shame that you've got around it any hiding tapping underneath the nose and just lean into that shame and that hiding right now really feel it how does that feel in your body tapping underneath the lips feel the uncomfort of it And then intensify that uncomfortable feeling by 50%. Really let yourself feel deeply uncomfortable there with all of that shame, that shutting down, the not deserving, the hiding, then puffing up maybe and pretending that it's okay. Intensify it by 100% now. Really go there. Let yourself feel deeply uncomfortable just for a moment. This is how we clear it out. Really lean on the edge of it. Really feel all of the texture in your body, the discomfort that's there. Really let yourself have it just for a moment. You can do it, feel into it, really feel uncomfortable, feel the shame, the regret, the blame, the anger, the resistance, the holding yourself back, the hiding, whatever's there. And then take a big deep breath into it and release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the front of the ribs. I love and forgive myself. I really do want to receive. 
tapping the side of the ribs. And what do you want to receive? Just say whatever it is. I know that it's there. I know what you really want deep down inside, even if the rest of the world doesn't know. What is it that you really want? What do you want to come into your life? What do you want to be blessed by? What would support you right now in your life? What would help you grow? What would help you move forward? What would support you in lifting into the next level of potential? Let's just voice it right now. It's just me and you. What I really need is, just say that out loud. And I've been struggling to receive it. Tapping the side of the thumb. What I, what I really want is, just name what it is. And I didn't know what's possible. Tapping the next finger. I didn't know if I could really have that. but I would really benefit from it. Tapping the middle finger. And I forgive myself for struggling with this. So tune into any struggle you've had around this particular need, this particular desire, and how you've been holding back or putting others first or not speaking about it because it feels too big or it's embarrassing or you're not worthy of it or you're not ready yet or you're not talented enough or you're not good looking enough or whatever excuse you've had for why it's not here with you yet. And just tune into that excuse right now. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. My excuse has been, and just name whatever your excuse has been. Tapping the little finger. My excuse has been, and just say that excuse again. Tapping the side of the hand. And it's possible that excuse isn't true. It's possible that excuse is not accurate. It's possible I am worthy of what? Tapping the top of the head. It's possible I am worthy of, and just name what you're worthy of having, experiencing, creating, sharing. It's possible I am worthy of, just name it out loud. Tapping between the brows, I am worthy of, and just name it again. Even though I haven't really had it before. Tapping the cheeks, I am worthy of, say it again. Good. And it's possible I've always been worthy of, and just name what it is. Tapping underneath the nose. And I'm giving myself permission to receive it now. Tapping underneath the lips. I can receive, and just name what it is that you can receive. Tapping the center of the chest. It's possible it will feel really good to receive. Tapping the front of the ribs. And I'm worthy of that. My life is worthy of that. I am worthy of that. Tapping the side of the ribs. I'm worthy of, and say the top three things that come into your mind right now. I'm worthy of. Let's go back up to the top of the head. I'm worthy of. 
tapping between the brows. I'm worthy of, say it again. Oh yeah, I know you are. I'm worthy of. And I want you just to feel right now any resistance to fully allowing that to come into your life, any resistance, any pushback, any defense mechanism that you're not allowed it or you're not ready for it, any pushback right now, lean into any pushback to that energy that wants to just come into your life. Feel the pushing back against it right now. Intensify any pushback that's there and then take a big deep breath, release a big sigh. Ah, awesome. I love and deeply accept myself exactly as I am. And I'm softening into this. And I just want you to feel right now your whole system, your whole energy feel just softening, relaxing any static, any defense that's been in your energetic field, in your body, in your energy, just feel it just becoming softer and softer right now, more and more receptive to seeing, to feeling and to receiving, and then take a big deep breath into that and release a big sigh. good does it feel when you allow yourself to receive, when you soften into receiving, because receptivity is the feminine, it's the softening, it's the flowering, it's the opening, it's the receiving. So let's really feel right now what it feels like just to really open up like a flower to receive all of that energy, all of that sunlight coming into you to really warm the essence of your being. Imagine yourself that flower opening up right now and take a big deep breath into that opening. And then just tap all over your body right now. And then imagine yourself as if you are that flower and your heart is the petals that are opening right now to reality. And then all of your physical body is becoming open to receive the world around you, to receive the blessings around you. And as you imagine that, I want you to say out loud 10 affirmations about what you are worthy of receiving. And I want you to say them out loud while imagining that flowering happening in your being, while you're imagining all the energy opening up. Okay, let's get going. I want to hear it from over here, wherever you are in the world. I want to hear it. What are you worthy of receiving? Keep tapping. You're worthy of receiving love, financial flow, success, opportunities, inner growth. What are you ready and worthy of? Keep going. And as you say each piece and as you feel yourself flowering into that, I want you to imagine all the energy coming back to you as well. Beautiful. All of it's flooding in. All of that sunshine. Oh, beautiful. Just a couple more. Keep going. Beautiful. And then take a big deep breath. Release a big sigh. Ah, awesome. And then just place your hand on your heart and your belly and just feel all of the life force around you, all of the swirling beauty that's seeking to come into your life, that's seeking to express through the passages and the doorways of your life. Feel into all of that touching you, people, places, opportunities, wealth, creation, possibilities, potential, all of it opening up into your life right now. Take a deep breath into that. Receiving it all, filling it all up, and then on the exhale, send it all back out to creation. Ha! <sighs> Beautiful, and then inhale it back into your body. And then exhale it out. Ha! <sighs> Let's do that once more. Inhale all of that yummy, beautiful pleasure, all of that goodness. Ah. 
awesome. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're in a greater place of receptivity to receive all of those blessings? I would love to hear from you in the comments below what you discovered on this journey that you shared with me. And if you have experienced this in the Life on Tap community, hello beautiful members. Remember, we have an awesome interview with Kristen who shares the great tantric practice of receiving and how we can open that capacity. So remember to tune into that interview. If you aren't in our Life on Tap membership community, then head on over. We would love to have you there. We have so many tapping sessions that you can tune into as well as guest expert interviews as well. You can join me at jenniferpartridge.com slash join dash life dash on dash tap and it would be awesome to have you there. It's such a joy to share the practice of tapping with you as we all step into a greater potential. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.